Hey guys, I'm back with an all new video. Today's video is kind of like a day in my life video, like what I actually get up to on a typical day. This video is in collaboration with Burt's Bees and I'm gonna be showing you four different lipstick Look. So like I said, I'm working with Burt's Bees to celebrate their True Force of Nature campaign. To me, being a true force of nature is all about balance hard work and also some fun in there. I really believe in a well-rounded lifestyle, which is why I was so excited to work with them on this video. We all work hard these days, we're all stressed, we've all got a million things to do, so why not have a little bit of fun with some lipsticks? Can I get an amen? <laughs> a little exciting news, I have a little giveaway for you at the end of this video, so make sure you stay tuned until then, I'll have all the details at the end of this video. I am self-employed and I've been doing a lot of reflecting about like running my own business, like apparently that's what I'm doing here. Um, I have like my fingers in a lot of different pies, you know, I work on a lot of different projects. I also have some behind the scenes responsibilities that you guys don't always get to see. So let's get started. Before we get into the different looks, I have picked my favorite four shades of these satin lipsticks, but you guys just look at the amount of lipsticks there are. There are so many gorgeous different colors. I absolutely love the consistency of these. They're so creamy, they're so soft. And the best part is they're affordable. You can get them at the drugstore, you can get them at Boots, on Feel Unique, I'll have them linked down below. But seriously, this is one of my favorite lipstick formulas because they're so moisturizing. So as you all know by now, I really love my mornings. Morning is my favorite time of day because I really like to take this time to set myself up for success. Of course, I have to walk my dog every single morning. That is the price you gotta pay when you're a dog mom. So I always like to walk Reggie, of course, in the morning. But if I have a particularly busy day, I always like to just get myself a little bit ready, put on a little bit of makeup. I really love this shade, 501 Blush. It's a super light lipstick shade, but it's also very, very moisturizing. So when I am just walking my dog or heading out for my morning coffee, I feel very put together and it also just like feels like a lip balm on your lips. It's really, really nice. I don't know if it's like a psychological thing, but whenever I'm replying to emails or I'm taking calls in the morning, I just feel a little more like powerful almost if I have my lipstick on and I have my makeup done and my hair isn't like a complete mess and I'm not like in my pajamas completely. Of course, I love my yoga clothes, but they're a little tighter than pajamas and I feel like it's like more of an effort than just like rolling out of bed. I really love my mornings to feel chill, but also productive, especially if I have a busy day coming up because if the morning goes by the wayside, the whole rest of the day is just chaos. So morning time is my favorite time. My schedule is different every single day, but I do often have lunch meetings. So if I'm gonna go to a lunch meeting, I typically will just wear jeans, a t-shirt, heeled boots, and a blazer. I always feel really put together that way, but I also wanna feel like young and cool, so I'll put on a lipstick like the one I'm wearing. This is the Burt's Bees lipstick in the shade 530 Lily Lake, and as you can see, it's like a bright color, but it's still kind of a neutral color, and I just think because for me, this is like a more, it's not like a serious outfit, but it's like, it's my version of business attire. It's fun to have a brighter color on your lips. I remember when I first started blogging and doing YouTube videos and stuff, I never really thought I'd be like taking lunch meetings or any meetings for that matter, but I have learned that it is important to present yourself in a positive professional way. And first impressions do matter. That's another thing I've learned over the years. This job has put me into so many different types of professional situations. I have literally gone into a meeting and thought there was gonna be one person there and then it turns out like 12 people are there. So it really is like a different experience every single time I have some sort of a work meeting. I know a lot of people don't know like what kind of meetings I even have, but um, sometimes, you know, we talk about new products that are coming out. That's a type of meeting I have. Sometimes I meet with my agents and stuff to talk about future projects. Sometimes I meet with like, yeah, my own team, for instance, to talk about my podcast and we can plan and prep that out. So yeah, I mean, I do have a lot of situations where I have to be presentable and this is how I choose to be. I've been lucky enough to do this job for a long time now, but I remember in the beginning thinking like, 
what am I gonna wear to a meeting? Like, I remember being so nervous about all these things I was doing and just like all these new experiences and just being so unsure of myself. And over the years, just through experience, I have really found a confidence within myself in a professional setting. And I do obviously talk a lot about like makeup and beauty stuff. So when I walk into a meeting, I love to just like show like your girl likes lipstick. Hopefully so far you're getting kind of the gist of my typical day. So morning, I do my emails, walk my dog, get my life together, make the calls I need to take. Then I usually have a lunch meeting that can take like a couple of hours by the time I get there and come back. And then usually in the afternoon, depending on the day, I set aside some time to film. Working for yourself and doing this kind of job involves a lot of self-motivation. I don't have like anyone on my back being like, I really think you should be filming that video today. I really wanted to employ Reggie, but he said he was occupied and he doesn't want to be my assistant. He's literally on the floor sleeping next to me. I'm so jealous. What I'm trying to say is it's not unusual for me to go to a lunch meeting, come back and then film for a few hours. So when I film for a few hours, I first thing I do when I get home, I mean, this blazer is coming off like immediately. Goodbye. Just get back into my t-shirt. I might even change into pajama bottoms. Um, but sometimes I'll just keep my jeans on and be like professional. But that is one thing about working for yourself and working from home is like, you don't have anybody to impress, you know? But like I said, I do like to keep myself a little bit together because I do think it helps motivation. As a self-employed person, um, there's really nothing worse than it getting around to like nine o'clock at night and being like, why didn't I use my time a little wiser? I really should have filmed that. Or I really should have answered that email. So I really do try in typical work hours to stay in the zone. Filming is always the most fun part of my job because I get to talk to you guys, of course. I usually will like redo my makeup a little bit and add a little extra makeup. It is turning into autumn, so I'm feeling like a darker lipstick look might be nice. So usually when I film my videos, I fix my makeup a little bit. I might change my outfit. Yeah, and then just sit down and, and get the ball rolling, really. I just took my last lipstick off and I'm going to put on 522 Crimson Coast. I've actually spoken about this lipstick color before. I don't have a mirror with me, so I might just have to use my phone. Story of my life, guys, is just using my phone as a mirror. I mean, that is one thing about running your own business and doing what we do is like, you're really on the fly a lot, <laughs> hence the phone mirror. Oh my gosh, look at this color. This, oh my God, I love this color so much. That's a great color. I mean, every time I wear this, I'm actually shook and surprised with how beautiful it is. And the other good thing about these lipsticks is you can just put them on like I just did, or you can also just dab them in and it just gives like a completely different look and it's like a little easier to wear. But anyway, now that my look is put together, I'm just gonna sit down and film a video for you. Now, I'm not over here trying to tell you that I go out partying every single night. That's not a typical day in my life, but I do like to go out with my friends and stuff during the week sometimes for like a nice dinner or just drinks or something to catch up. I think if there's one thing I've learned in 2018, it's work hard, play hard. There is definitely a balance here that needs to be met. The importance of a social life is so real. I have been just having so much fun with my girls. Friendships to me are just so important. So I do try to make an effort when I go out these days. I'll put on like the leather and the lace and you know, the heels and whatever. And then I also just vamped up my look with this. Um, this is the shade 533 Orchid Ocean. Gorgeous name. And you can see it's like super dark, super vampy, but because my makeup is so like natural, like this is the same makeup I've had on all day long, but I just switched up the lipstick and it completely transforms the whole vibe. So that's why I love lipstick so much. It's just like one product and it changes your entire identity. Okay, so that was my video. That's a typical day in the life for me. Of course, there's usually a little more in there. You know, different sort of stuff crops up all the time, but in general, that's kind of how I tend to structure my days. You guys know I wear pretty minimal makeup and I've always, always, always been a lipstick lover. I think you can really switch up your look with one lipstick, which is why I love them so, so much. So like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I have a giveaway for you. Burt's Bees are giving away 
5,000 samples of lipsticks. I mean, that's a beautiful sentence to say. I'll have all of the information in the description box below, so make sure you click on it to get all of the info. I would love you guys to share a little picture on social media and tag me and Burt's Bees and use the hashtag true force of nature. And let me know what being a true force of nature means to you. You just saw what it means to me. I like to work hard, play hard. You know, but I'd love to find out how you structure your days. I'd love to find out what makes you feel powerful and let me know what your favorite shade was. And with that, I am going to pack my suitcase. I'm getting on an airplane tomorrow so I can be a true force of nature in the airplane. I need to set myself up for success. Like I said, no day for me is ever the same. Thanks again for watching guys. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you very soon. Bye.